Miss first up versus Devil, Affliction versus Shatter, but it's got to hit with immediate succubus seduction, fully loaded with dots though, as Devil rushes out with a big old dark lift, but the demons get sent in all directions, the Miss already gets to take the damage, the raw pressure of those dots down onto the Oblivion, which is so good for him, but the guy is still suffering with those dots, Devil trying to get a full UA in the guy, either trying to refresh one or place a new one, is going to be more to call, Sand as he's trying to go for a torrent, Devil able to live the dots of the damage of Miz, and it's just mostly able to just withstand anything the guy throws at him was miss suffering around the pillar at least he got a bit of a self heal succubus you see at least he can get a full set of dots on the guy and everything right with the soul rod everything is available and miss is gonna take huge hits spikes trying to go for a bit more instant cast damage drains life for devil as he got him so well that is a pretty big defensive getting used really early here as he got yet another drain so oh no 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 oh no 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 as miss chilling behind the pillar poured out for devil drain cell right after miz going with a bit of a vt suck a busy c as he is out i'm trying to figure out like which way this is gonna go it looks like i guess devil does not really have a big go yet he just doesn't play super safe super passive while miz got himself a mind games but that's a full shield not much you could really do against it stun at least he's able to get a little bit of damage going both of them chatting into each other and devil trying to see if he can maybe drain life out of miz spiked up silence with a full mortar call yet another soul rod that soul rod and ua are doing a number right now that is keeping him one healthy alive plenty of drains that doesn't have to worry about mana also draining the pets as well as he has got himself tentacles and left right etc but the damage though, Miz is just living those dots. This is quite strong dots too, he's just living them right now. Dots are back up, UA is in everything. And Devil trying to see if he can reposition. But for Miz, he's been able to just do PvE down Devil. Enough to summon a fresh new pet. And that thing is actually doing a decent number of damage. Devil with the dark bag, there's not much he can do. Maybe some Shadow Ward deaths? Potentially? I think it's just rotting you, hold on. Trying to live, does he get to? It's actually so close. Wait, it's just over, right? Unless, hold on. I was gonna say, Miz just PvE him down enough to summon a monstrosity. Normally, those things are get summoned like periodically because the entire time you're just playing for like procs, but you're never consistently sending out enough aspirations from your mind blast spikes or your DPs to get one going that early. But the entire time he's just able to PvE him and big. I think he's just trying to give him an honor duel. Look at this dragon, dude. Look how goofy this thing is. Fear to follow, he has himself on out for this one with a, I think a tremor, pretty tremored it, which is perfect. For big, he knows he has the big haymaker, he needs to delay it, he needs to wait it out. He's been waiting for some kind of a cooldown, Ice Fury, I think he's just trying to see if he can commit all the damage while he doesn't get interrupted. I think that's what he's trying to wait for is that, uh, uh, Spirit Walkers, so he can't get silence. Stun, doesn't have an out, hold on, miss if he has a silence. Silence! Hold on, he just gotta wait it. Burrow for a second, miss up an air, big blaster, zap one, this is zap two, try to see if we can live it, miss with a dispersed last second, barely surviving the zap rooting around the corner. As big looking for a little bit of a self heal himself. Miz, my goodness, living it. He's living the haymaker. For big, not an ideal situation. That was his entire go. Has to kind of wait it out a bit until another one is available, another opportunity presents itself. For Miz though, he really just needs to get line of sight of big, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't think so. Even a shaman has more mobility than a shadow priest, man. Come on. <laughs> Ghost Wolf, rude to slow down the other guy, so at least you're faster than the guy running after you. I mean, it's massive. PI is available, Miz got himself maybe a go. Knock back for big, and with this low with a siphon, if you can get the siphon with a good angle, it could slow him quite a bit, but I think he's just going to wait it out. For Miz, now the question is, does he have the defenses? Does he have his go? Does he have an opportunity? Mind games on a big as he goes in for a full wall. He now wants to be the one who's knocking on his door. Big Ellie Blast, have himself a lightning bolt and everything available. Does he have himself a big zapper go? He needs it. He needs a big zapper go. Slow down a little. Fear to follow. Breaks out of pretty quickly. Lightning Bolt 1. Does he have an Earth Shock to follow? Lightning Bolt 2. Maybe he can go for an interrupt. Earth Shocks. Does go for the kick. Doesn't quite connect. For Big though, why he's out in the open. Why he's out there trying to get himself a kill. For Miss, he takes advantage of it. Knockback missing it. Not quite connecting. Trinket to follow for the last. And for Big, he's on a retreat right now. 
trying to see if you can maybe tussle to, uh, mosey towards another pillar does get stunned it is gonna have to trinket out of this one for miz next fear silence combo could be huge for big able to get himself quite a bit of recovery 28 percent dampening six minutes into this match neither of these two are gonna really get that much healing from here on out it's gonna start to feel kind of painful that 30 percent dampener really you do end up feeling it mortal strike with a little bit extra on it basically is what you got working with right now not super super fun for big he does have a big go he does have guardian he could maybe just fight through it for miss has himself the defenses he needs he has himself silence fear no pi for a bit though so i wonder if he's actually going to hang back and maybe wait out until he has pi because if he can combine that together into his own go that would be huge he's trying to go for shadow War death in case there's any kind of cc no mind games doesn't break the fear which is huge has himself out in the open silence to follow he does burrow underground but he's still taking the damage does get himself a knock up into a knock away stun to follow from miss as he got himself a decent go versus big got himself a line of sight away from all these pets but for some reason that void monstrosity is not attacking big and when he's trying to see if he can get it to aggro him like what is happening <laughs> oh no and there goes the Stormkeeper, Sky Fury. If you interrupt someone's Shadow too, that would be just amazing for Big. He's just not doing that good. Hold on, Miz. He actually, Big does not have a lot of health. Hold on, Miz, if you have something, Fear, try to see if he can have himself a go. Dot it up, Big. Big has himself one more Lightning Bolt. Is it enough? Big Bolt, is it enough? Lasso, oh, Miz does let himself get zapped, but he had to set up a go versus the Shaman, and that's exactly what he got to do there my goodness you had to play aggressive you had to just take the zaps to the face 38 7 percent damper fighting against kiosko not the best i was gonna say not the best arena to fight a hunter but honestly i don't know for shadow priest if there's ever a good arena to fight a hunter like as long as i have traps in line of sight it's gonna be hard it's gonna be challenging 39 percent dampening not gonna help miss at all though he at least has some kind of healing he doesn't take nearly as much damage from pure physical attacks on those kill shots but keep actually can take a little bit less damage especially as the pet builds up the um focused will so it gives you a little bit extra dr to work with too scatter trying to get himself a better angle void torrent does connect pain death kiosko it looks like the entire time kiosko is the one attacking miz but one void torrent you can just see the difference in health and just how much damage kiosko is taking from passives and dots and stuff look at those tentacles the amount of damage they can do death shark went to miz might be in a tight spot despair i don't know if that's available fear looks like that's up maybe no, Fear was down. I guess you, you try to use a Fear, maybe miss Kiosko with it. But Kiosko, not a lot of health available. Stun has a way out. Oh, does he have enough damage here? Try to see if he can get a kill. Boy, turn. Kiosko, do you still die? Oh, he got himself a heal. He got himself a heal. I was going to say. <laughs> no way. Man. They said the buff shaman, but I feel like they nerfed it. They did nerf the armor recently, but I don't think they've done anything else. Like armor only. So they have less armor advantage because they are on the shield. And that is going to be Kioska not given much of a chance to really compete here. Talrion, second to last left. Try to see if we can fight through team two. There's quite a lot of people to get through too. There's, we got Smigo, we got Cat, we got a says Oxalot. We got a, quite a whole, quite a few homies. Stun onto Smigo and Tal, unless he can find a way to self-heal himself, he is going to have to back up out of there. Second wind is in play. But those Raptors are not going to give you any ability to heal at all. For Smeagol, that is a bit of Maelstrom that's coming back up from those Raptors too. Is Tell actually going to play super safe? He has to, right? Second win. It is kicking in. He doesn't have a Flame Shock. Hold on. That's where he leapt away. I, I was going to save him for a second. Like, I was thinking Flame Shock was just going to be basically like just an inevitability. Does go into defensive stance for a little bit. Stun onto Smeagol. Sme I keep calling it Smeagol. I keep calling it Smeagol and I keep catching myself. It's Smeagol. Like, Sme as me go. I keep calling you Smeagol. But you're much more beautiful than Smeagol. Even though that man has a beauty of his own. I mean, great movies. Fantastic, right? Great acting. It was great. Into a Counter-Strike Dota as I'm going off of attention. Defensive stance, because he's just got to find a way to tussle this damage. Does leap. Is there a flame shock on him? Or is he good? Is there dots? I Do I see your health wiggling? Your health is wiggling to the right. I don't see it wiggle to the left. You are getting a good bit of healing. 54% dampening. Smigo goes in for self heals off his own as well. But tell actually your healing is not that high. Hold on. Did you get hit by something? Shadow melt. Hold on. He actually shadow melted just to make sure he gets a bit more healing. Yeah, second wind is not getting nearly as much healing. It's really was Smeagol was second wind reduced by dampening before because it's really not doing that much for him right now. Because tell normally would get quite a lot of recovery, but 
56% dampening disagrees with that. Smeagol getting taken big hits. That's a big capacitor da counter strike damage. And Telrion, I don't think he realized the counter strike zone was down. It is still doing a number. If you don't land inside of that thing and you're hitting the guy that dropped it, that is a lot. Reflecting back the elemental blast though. I like that. That looks so good. <laughs> it just looked really flashy. Tell should probably still be dotted, I think. Smeagol trying to catch up in healing. Tell, I think, went for a rallying cry. Not a lot of health available. I don't know, man. How do you live this? How do you live this? I feel like a root totem around the corner. A flame shock, maybe a couple of wolves, and a lightning bolt primordial would probably do you in. He's trying to see if you can play this. 61% dampening. You're not healing. Totem around the corner. It is going to catch. It does go for the stun before the totem catches it. Fear off of that trinket. And you're just trying to see if you can make second one work. And it's a full blaze storm. Smeagol trying to find a way around the situation. Parry out for Tal. Another blaze storm to follow on the thunder. Does get parried on the thunder. Big Exigus to follow. Is it going to be another Smeagol with a wall as well as Guardian? Lasso for a second. Tal with a trinket. Trying to see if he can cross Smeagol. But the man is underground. Hold on. That knockup could do a lot of damage. Armor is lessened for warriors. So there's only so much they can do. That's full physical damage. Another Exigus does end up getting himself one more hit. I guess he could technically get himself a, a heal. Uh, did you hear the crowd? The crowd was like cheering and booing at the same time, I swear. You guys can barely hear the crowd. I don't even know if it will be shown up in recordings, but I swear I heard the orcs usually just cheer, but I heard like cheering and boos at the same time. <laughs> I think it's every time like Tell is super low on health, so maybe it was like mixed together as a kill happened, and then Tell like started healing at low health or something. Is Donna's really giving an honor duel? That's very honorable of you. At 71% dampening, we're going to be waiting here for half a year. That's my problem. So if you want to go in, I say do it, Donna's. I think you got it. Donna's out in the middle. Pets at the ready. Pets should actually be more effective now than of the uh, plate armor in PvP. So I think this pets with a physical damage should actually be a really good banner. Perfectly set up. Mordekoil and Axtos do not get the longevity they need. That's a good intro for Tell. Maybe can go for a stun. Good stun all these pets right now. That's huge. For Donna's wall, darkness, a dark pack, everything is up. Fear on all these pets, so they're not really in play. So for Tal, he's able to avoid quite a bit of damage. Parry up really early. Try to reduce damage taken, but also parry some of those pets damage. Stun onto Donna's. Does not have a trinket, I don't think, anymore. Or maybe trinket of the shockwave earlier. Does have the Axos back up. That is a full Axos into a second stun. Is this enough pets? Defensive stance is up. Does go for the kick into handle go down. Donna's needs a little bit of damage here. Maybe a mortal call. Fear reflected back at Donna's. I think an execute is going to take you. Unless. Yeah, unless. Unless there's not much you can really do there, honestly. Calcid charging now. Does not want to give Tell that second wind capability whatsoever. Stormbolt immediately. Maybe this is where Tell can just go in for like a Stormbolt go. Dasa was the one chasing after him. I don't think he's going to get in the second one. Try to go for a shockwave. Does not connect. And Kasa just needs, not even himself, just the pet to attack him. And Lord trying to go for an honor duel. Oh, I like this mug a lot. Even the gloves, man. They're even like the gloves are unique, but they kind of match the sorta. Got himself full IBF. The man is just gonna have to tank up as much as possible versus Castle. Does get a full root on him. If you got a Morse Winter full stun, that could be massive. Does have a full on karma he's gonna deal with. No AMS for this one. Has to hang back for a moment. Is gonna grip and try to see if he can sink in a couple of obliterates as karma goes through. Does end up trying to give himself a heal, but the dark pack doesn't even give you any heals at this point. It just covers your health bar in necrotics. Literally all it does at that point. That is rough, man. Castle with two, Miz with two. That is a long one. If we get enough of these boys still in play, I'll be down to go again, man. But that was a long one.